Today, I'd like to teach you how to find the percent composition of aluminum, oxygen, and hydrogen in aluminum hydroxide. So the first step actually is to find the molar mass or the molecular mass, doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna use this table to help me organize my thoughts. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the elements in the compound. So I have aluminum, I have oxygen, and I have hydrogen. Next is I'm gonna write down the number of atoms of each element in this compound. So at the bottom of aluminum, there's an invisible one, so that means that there is one aluminum atom in aluminum hydroxide. Uh, now, with hydroxide, there are three hydroxides. But wait a minute, in each single hydroxide, there's one oxygen here and there's one hydrogen. So in total, what that must mean is that there will be three oxygens, essentially, and three hydrogens. I'm not going to leave those subscripts down there, but I hope you get the point. So there are three atoms of each. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take those number of atoms and then multiply it by the mass of each particular element. So we use the periodic table to help us out. So here's the mass of aluminum, here's the mass of oxygen, and here's the mass of hydrogen. Uh, those values could either be in grams per mole if you're finding molar mass or AMU if you're finding molecular mass. So let's write them down. So aluminum is 26, 26.98. Oxygen is about 16. And then let's make that a little neater, why don't we? And then hydrogen is going to be about 1.01. So then to find the total mass now of the element in the compound, we're just going to simply multiply this row together. So for aluminum, it's just simply 26.98. For oxygen, it's going to be uh, 48. And then hydrogen, it's about 3.03. 3 now to find the total mass then of the entire compound, all we have to simply do, nice and simply, add this column up. And when we do that, we get a value of 78.01. Now, since we're finding the percent composition of these elements, it doesn't really matter what unit we're talking about here for the molar mass. It could be in gram per mole. It could be in terms of AMU. It does not really matter. I'm going to leave the units out just to keep it clean. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more column to this table to uh, finish it on out. So now all we have to simply do to find that mass percent is now we're going to take the total mass of that particular element and then divide it by the total mass of the entire compound. This is a basic percentage. It's part over whole. And then we're going to multiply by 100. So we're simply going to take the 26.98, divide it then by the 78.01, multiply that by 100. And when we do that, the answer will come out to be about 35 point. Now, it depends on how you want to round it. But I guess we should have four sig figs. It really doesn't matter, right? Who cares about sig figs? So this is 34 point, I don't know, five, nine or so. And that's then going to be in terms of percent. So that's the percent of aluminum now. Uh, for oxygen, it's going to be then the 48 over then the 78.01. Multiply that by 100. We're going to come up with now a percentage of about 61.53. All right. And then last but not least, let me make the box a little neater. Last but not least, all we're simply going to do is take then the amount of hydrogen in the compound divided by then the total mass of the compound, right? Just simple part over whole. Multiply that bad boy by 100. And it's then going to be about 3.8. 88 or so percent. Now you can always check yourself. You can add those percents together and guess what they should come out to be if you added them up and if we did it correctly. 100%. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I really do hope this helped. Uh, if it does, please subscribe, like, maybe even tell your classmates. We appreciate it so much. Thank you very much for your support. Now you know how to find percent composition. Take care.